Hey everybody, Grand Rising, afternoon, evening, whenever you see this. This is going to be um, Divine Feminine Energy of Isis reading. The Ankh, Creator God, the Breath of Life activation. First and foremost, thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you for being with me through this reading. Thank you for allowing me to be a divine vessel for you. It is an honor and I am humble. I turn my life over to the care and understanding of you. Divine Mother, Father, I love you. Archangel Michael, thank you for walking with me, keeping me protected through all the ethers, realms, and space and time to help protect my esoteric wings while I deliver these divine messages. Through Mother and Father in Christ's name, amen. And with the breath of life, Horus, Horus, it's a gate, the gate is open. I have my <clears throat> glasses on here. Frequency, protection, pyramid, secret, okay, whoa, gosh, I gotta get to hold on a second, this is really, oh, we just went right into it. We're here in Mary, yep, Isis. Mary. Or more than, we're going to see this right here. Where is it? You will see that in the veil. Or more. Ascension. It's a choice, a left or right. By staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. Your soul is evolving to a higher state of consciousness. And you are ready for this. You have Tehuti here who is Thoth, the holiest of holies. Okay, and Sekhmet here. Some of you are actually capturing the, them in the veil. The scarab, spiritual transformation is happening. The two worlds are melding together. The worlds become one in the world, yep. Will be a better place and the suns become one. They're showing me the eclipse reversed though. I, feel, I, I don't care. Believe me, I don't. I'm putting this. I want to document this. They're showing me one with a lining. Um, whoa. Whoa. From what I'm um, being shown, it's an alignment of, of these. What well, looks like planets. Okay. It, it, it's, it's dimensions. It's a doorway. It's a doorway to dimensions. It's a doorway. It's an opening. The guardians are here for this. It's a frequency. It's an opening. It's it, everything is aligned. But if if I had the the wheel, like the wheel of fortune would come out. High priestess. Okay, divine masculine. You, I'm connected into my high priestess, man or woman. Okay. Do you feel a connection with Isis? Significant changes. The trees are alive, you know what I mean? Like they're the fae. They're not these wooden, you know, I mean, I believe a lot of them have to be connected to those who realize tree isn't just a piece of wood. Um, activation earth like those are her hairs you know what i'm saying the trees are like her hairs is what i'm hearing transformation big transformation happening with all of us this is big queen of fire queen of water whoa Whoa, and Queen of Earth and the Chariot and oh wow, 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 wow. This is whoa. We got a lot of water here. All right, this feels yeah, and fire. And we have all kings and queens here, ladies and gents. We have all kings and queens here. And then here, kings and queens and guillotines, taking lives denied. Aerosmith, kings and queens, vision. Okay, we have huge transformation here. 
like 13 to a 4, into like the seed of your soul, a different level, a different vibration and frequency. They use them, the water as the frequency. We are water. You know, we're like, what is it? We're 90 something percent water. Or, and we're made of earth. All right. We're going to be clearly affected by this because we're made of all these, you know, minerals and elements as well. The same thing we're living on. We walk on, we lay on. You know what I mean? It's just a vibration. It's shifting through the waters. Seven of water. I'm just being shown, like, uh, rainbows, um, archways, it's open. Isis is here. Isis is here. So isn't Tiamat. And so isn't Gaia. Tiamat is a queen of water. Actually, Tiamat is the mother of all things. And then there's Isis. And then there's Gaia. A shift. The queen, they're doing, they, they, they're the ones that are doing it. They have chariot energy. They're chariots we're seeing. Forces. We're seeing their chariots for those who understand what I'm saying. Because of a justice, a divine justice, a balance. Five of fire. A balance for change. We have five of fire. This is like, I was like, whoa. And then we have five of air. Now that would be like inky and in low energy. That air and fire whew, is a volcano. I'm feeling like whew, with in the water, a volcano in the water. It's an activation actually of a pyramid. It's an activation of a pyramid. King of fire. Osiris, I hear. Seven of fire coming in on the ice to earth. Osiris is in them? Whoa. Osiris is in them? Patience. Three of water. We have three of air, three of water. Significant balance here. Back to, back to life. Back to reality is what they're saying to me. Patience. Two of earth. Things are balancing and shifting the way they're supposed to be. In truth, Ace of Air, Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is like God. Oh, this is what I'm feeling in this whole thing. Like, this is the truth. God. Emperor is the Emperor here, and the Hierophant, and the Temptation. This goes all back to this. This goes right back to the Garden Air of Eden with the Temptation and what that really is. So I have the page of water, all right? In and out of realms is what I'm hearing. The ace of fire, which is ace of wands, which is creativity, passion, spark, a new spark, a new level of, um, I mean, it's it's ace of fire, ace of, of the wands is big. It's, it's a big movement forward um, in creativity, uh, it depends on where you are in your path, but I mean, I feel like worldly, we have justice with the chariot and transformation here with the pyramids. I mean, I'm seeing this at a way different level, like it's supposed to be seen in the stars, in the stars, and the stars are showing me, in the stars, Sekhmet, all right, this is at that level, the fool, the horn, Gabriel's horn, to bring it back to good, I'm hearing, to bring it back to good. Five of Earth to the four of Earth for the balance of love. Christ is a messenger of fire. Union, union to move forward. This is a love like no other. I just heard. Earthed, earthed, vision, sound, horn. So you may hear a horn when I'm doing when you watch this. Wisdom. 
No limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is much for you to share. And they're showing me the 06. There's an awakening and a love. As this is my favorite love card, and I mean all decks is this one. There's an awakening of a spiritual level with these two people. Many two peoples, I, but it's a small group of these two peoples. They came here for this mission here. Noah's Ark, they're telling me. The Ark. Planted seeds here on Earth through frequency. Planted seeds here on Earth through frequency. Through the waters, right? Through the waters to be together. High Priestess for this union. For this spiritual union in the six of fire is through the ethers. It's everything. It's the eight of fire. This is everything. You are his pe their panda. Page of air. Truth. Forward. This is coming in. This this this, this connection is coming in. Star seed. Because it's a star seed. It goes back to the stars. I'm connected into those who wished upon stars. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant love and light. Eight of fire. A lot of songs I've been posting about fire um, have that in it anyway. Chaka Khan, you know, through the fire. And then um, Laura Branigan's Imagination. And the vibration of that song is for certain star seeds. And you'll know it when you feel it when you listen to it, along with the lyrics. Um, it talks about the fire, being walking through the fire. It's just a fantasy. It's only an imagination, you know what I mean? Like, be careful what you subscribe into. Stay in your abundant vibration. You are an earth guide here with wisdom. You have wisdom to inner worlds. I'm connected into those who do that through the stars. Thank you for watching. You, you come in and you observe me. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, thank you. I feel magnificent. <laughs> and it gives me strength. And it gives me gratitude for that you're watching. I will keep doing this. This is a sign. We are connected into the blue star. Those of who are watching this, we are connected into the blue star, Kachina. I am beyond the spectrum. Remember, you are love and you are light. I really hope this reading um, resonated with you and if it doesn't it doesn't mean it won't it may just take a minute because it's a, a high vibrational I'm, I'm a high vibrational reader yeah i'm, I'm a talisman of potency <laughs> they're telling me sacred tools and objects can be an extension of your energy field because your power and intention helping you heal the split between spirit and matter Bringing physical matter more, de bring into vision things. Oh my God, okay. Thank you, Prince. Physical matter more deeply into light, <laughs> into light and life. You are encouraged to work with sacred materials in conscious way to help you with your own healing and, enjo and enjoy enjoyment of the material world as a part of your spiritual practice. Prince has been coming to me for a while now, bringing to life a vision in one's mind. Is basically what I just heard reading that. So thank you. Ancient power and mis of mysteries. The oracle guides. The oracle guides you to honor the power of your voice, whether through spoken or sung words, or through what you write, speak, and stand. And that depends in here too. I, I believe. I don't know. And I channel. I don't remember everything I say. Um, you have you have a potentially very powerful healing voice. And you are guided to recognize the responsibility that you have for what you proclaim through your voice. And that, that actually right here is showing me go back to this card. Just give me a second here. I know it looks like a mess, but it's really not. I understand the message. It unfolds like a mystery. It was the fool card with the horn. So, when I find it, I will show it to you. Anyway, this is a beautiful, powerful message. Some of you may hear a horn again when, you, when you're um, 
watching this reading. I can't, whatever. It's just not wanting to jump out at me. But, um, love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. You are a high offense. Be mindful of temptations. A lot of you are overcoming temptations as well. Bringing up emotions. Maybe some of that is coming up through your family line. I guess they want me to continue. So um, that's coming up through your family line, through emotions, from the earth, to be healed. Okay? That's why the heart is in the apple. To heal. To heal. This is a big love. This is a really big love. You don't necessarily have to be a Leo. This is Leo Gemini energy. Um, but you don't have to be that sign, um, which would be fire and air. And, and we have earth. You two came here when that was time was, um, you know, the true Garden of Eden. Or someone, yeah, because look at, to me, that looks like somebody laying there remembering. Remembering, remembering, you remember, you remember. Past lives, when kings and queens, it goes back to kings and queens, that's why all these kings and queens are here. That will resonate for some of you with the kings and queens who are here with the, um, you know, when Isis is here, this Isis is energy is all over this reading. In the Hathors and Sekhmet, because um, they're here, it's open. You'll start seeing more and more of them. Osiris. Cannot make this up. Osiris. Heavenly message. Osiris's job is to bring life back to Gaia. To help activate Earth. Through um, these frequencies. There's a water. He's coming with, you know, his guys. A lot of us are capturing Osiris. Coming in. Soul retrieval. Thank you. With the Ankh. Sekhmet, okay, Isis healing goddess now offers you a spiritual um, restoration and deep soul healing through the art of soul retrieval, reclaiming pieces of you lost through trauma, old and new. Soon you will enjoy greater wellness, energy and power. So be willing to go through the healing process, okay? Don't be afraid to heal, okay? Really, please don't be afraid to heal because it's better to be healed and sitting in crap and, and having to be a low vibration. Um, clearing it out, taking place is leading you to a, a whole different, um, a new breath with the onk. Some of you have an onk for protection. Some of you get an onk for protection. Okay. Um, alchemy creation, which is inky is here. Cobra divine, for this divine awakening. Divine guardian, can't make this up. Inky's here. This is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are protected during these times in the love and strength of Divine Mother Isis. Relax and allow your transformation to happen. Your Divine Guardian protects you now. Let go. Trust unconditionally in what is happening for you, as there is only Divine Love beneath the surface of the present situation. Through the portal of light in the eye of Horus, I can't make this up. In the spirit of Isis, stay true and be in your power. You are love and you are light. You are the divine spark. There is no separation. It's just this 3D place that can make you feel that way. Peace, love, and light, everybody.